valid parenthesis given a string s containing just the characters parenthesis yeah the brackets and the open parenthesis and the curved parenthesis determine if the input string is valid an input string is valid if the open parenthesis bracket must be closed by the same type of bracket open bracket must be closed in the correct order because this is like your your like pairing and then you need to be um, when you open you have to have a close every time you open you have to have a close so uh, this is normally solved using stack and stack is a last in first out so for example like you have something like this you have open you go in and then you close 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 and then you open again and then you close and you open again close open and close so this is normally the and then the pairing should be like matching if this is a bracket here this should be a bracket here So e for every open, there should be a close, yeah, and the, the type of bracket should be the same. Yeah, I hope you don't mind the noise because I'm currently somewhere in the remote place doing this training. Yeah, so the first thing we need to do is create a map to for this pair, right? Because we need the we need to have a map. Uh, let's just create a map for this pair. Uh, map. In Golang, there's you don't have a uh, character, so you need to use byte or rune. So in this case, it's uh, yeah, like this, and then followed by the closing one. Just copy, paste, paste. Then we'll probably go through each of the character of the string. So for uh, position range of the string s, um, and then car is just I suppose. So then you create a stack. Um, the way you implement a stack in uh, in Golang is using uh, a array slice starting from zero and length of us. So if if it's an open open uh, open bracket, we put it in the stack. If it's a closed bracket, we, we pop it out of the stack. So in this case, we check if the stack of it, if it's an open bracket first check if it's an open bracket right so it's an open bracket uh, he, okay If it's an open bracket, we append that to the stack. Else, do this part. If it's not, what we need to do is uh, we need to pop it out of the stack. So we go to the last element of the stack, which is um, last element is the land of stack minus one, right? And then the element is stack the last. Then you do a pop. When you pop, you need to remove starting from zero to the last. So basically, you have to reassign that thing like this stack until the last. Okay. Now we need to check if it's a closing uh, bracket. So if 
closing bracket C is equal to uh, you check if it's the last or the element check the hm hash map with the last element check if it's not equal to the character that was we're going to the immediate return false right and then here we return true okay there's a case here like if the stack is empty this will throw an error so what you need to do is else if land of stack is not equal to zero you can do an else here Uh, it's like it's equal to zero immediately return fault which means there's nothing there and then you you have a closing bracket it's a you have a you have a, not an opening but it's a closing so return false here yeah this is the case where you have something like um like this your input is like this then you don't have an opening right it's just a closing so your 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 stack will be empty at the point in time else if you have something in the stack you just pop it out as long as it's the same you just pop it out if it's not the same you immediately return false so let's try it out just gonna work okay we missed the closing here stacks declare but not use Stack is going empty. So we check if the stack is uh, empty here. If it's empty, then it's correct. If it's not empty, there there's something that is open but it's not yet closed. So yeah, it should be equal. Okay, submit. Okay, there you go. Top 100%. Yep. So, yeah, this is how you solve it. Basically, uh, mo there's a multiple cases where, for this part, it's like you have something like this, left over. For this part, is to handle the situation where it's closing only. And this part is to handle the situation where it's not pairing properly, like you have an open, but it's the closing part is like this. All right. So these are all the, the key points where yeah. If it's empty then your your paired it matched it. That's why you return a the size here. Yep. So this is it. This is how you create a stack in Golang. Um, is how you pop if you're not familiar with stack um, stack is the data structure yeah that allows you to go in last in first out where you just whatever you push first that's the first one you pop out of the stack yeah that's it so if you like this video hit like and subscribe um, Thank you for watching and see you again on another episode.